So in the last part, we have created this index.jsp page. And what I want is I want to add some extra tags, tags here. And those tags will be provided by Sturge framework. So in order to use those tags, we need to add some extra libraries. So before that, let me remove all these comments. Okay, so let's add those libraries. Now you can see I have, uh, I guess on my desktop, I have those libraries. So you can see here, I have storage tool lib using which uh, in this, if you open this, you can see there are some uh, libraries. Now from where you can get these libraries, you can go to just, just go to Google and search for storage tool lib. It will give you all those libraries. In fact, it will give you uh, many libraries, maybe around 25 libraries. From that, this eight libraries are important. In fact, you can skip this one, which is free marker. Uh, free marker is one of the uh, view, viewing technology or view technology. Since in this example, I'll be using JSP, so we don't require a free marker. But still, we'll, since it is there, I will use it. So I have this uh, eight libraries here. So what we can do is from your uh, project, I guess we can even copy paste, let's try. So copy, and you can just sim simply go here. Uh, no paste option, unfortunately. What we can do is we can click on add library. Oh, sorry. Let's right click and click on add jar. Okay, by default I'm getting the selection. We can select all and click on open. If I click open, it will show all these libraries here. Now, once you got all these libraries, let's use those search tag. Now, I hope you're familiar with JSP directive tags. So in order to use any external tags, we need to use JSP directive tag here. So in order to use JSP directive tag, we have to use add the rate. If you type add the rate, it will give you three options, either uh, include page or tag lib. So in order to fetch extra tags, we have to use tag lib. So tag lib at, uh, tag has a attribute called as prefix. So the prefix I want to use here for my application will be let's say s, uh, and then uri. So uri is it's uniform resource identifier, which specify the location from where you have to fetch these tags. Since we have added those libraries, we have to simply say search tags. Okay. Now, so this S prefix defines that any time if I, in future if I write here any new tag, I have to provide a prefix as S just to define that it's a search tag. Simple. Uh, in our application, I don't require this head. Let's go with body. And I don't require this. Now, how to verify that your libraries are imported? Uh, if you get an error here on this line, it, it simply means there is, there is some problem with your libraries. Again, you have to also check for the version of library here because uh, if you use a wrong version, your application will not work. So in order to remove that dependency on your libraries, you can either use Maven. Uh, Maven provides you these dependencies. They will remove all the dependency or it will add jar file by themselves. Okay, so if, I'm not, if you're not familiar with uh, Maven, it's okay. You can just remember all this version name and uh, provided you are using NetBeans 8, okay? So with, with NetBeans 8, it all supported. In fact, uh, I guess for NetBeans 7 also, it will work. Okay, now in this body tag, what I will do is, uh, I will use a form tag. Now form tag is not of uh, normal HTML because normal HTML form tag goes in this way. I don't want to use uh, form tag of HTML, I want to use form tag of studs. So I can simply say S colon. Why S is because my prefix here is S. So I can simply say S colon and a form tag because studs itself has a form tag and you can provide an action. Now there is a big difference between an action of normal uh, HTML and a action attribute of studs. Normal HTML, when you talk about normal uh, web application, normal Java web application, in that if you provide a name in this action, it assumes that it will be a servlet. It, 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 it will be a class file, but of servlet, right? But in case of studs, it's not a normal uh, uh, servlet. It will be a action. Now, what exactly action is, that we'll see later. Let's say my action name is hello studs. 
So it is an action name. Now it is exactly action that we'll see later. So instead of creating a servlet, we'll create an action here. So my action name is hello, sir, hello stars. Now if I skip the method, so in normal HTML, if I skip a method here, it will be get, right, get method, but in stars by default it is post. Now what I need here is a text field, so I will again use search tags, we'll say text field, not text area, I need a text field. Uh, then I will give a name of this text field, I will say it is username, that's it. Once I done with the text field, let me use a button. For button, we have to use s colon submit. Again, all the tag we are using is of stars and we'll use a, a value as submit. Simple, so I got a form here. So once I click on this button, it will call this hello stars. Now, okay, uh, so if I click on this submit, it will take that, if it will fetch that uh, data and it will send that to action. But what next? I want to show a greeting, right? So for that greeting, what I will do is one more, I will take a property tag here. Now this property tag has the power to fetch a variable from the action. Again, we'll talk, talk, talk about it later, what exactly this property means. For time being, I will say the value is message. And what if your message is absent? We'll say uh, guest. Okay, we'll discuss this part later, okay? So focus only on this part. So once I click on this submit, it will fetch this username and it will give that username to hello studs. Now what exactly this hello studs is, how to create those, uh, how to create that action that we'll see in the next part.